Subman. Portal gun shoot good.
Hey ya! It's your boy, Tyler McVicker. How you doing today? Hey! Hi! I'm back from break. Thank you very much for being patient with me while I was on break. Um, how you doing? How you doing? Portal Reloaded is out. Back uh, in the days of the channel name that we no longer speak of. I made a video about Portal Reloaded, the community's Portal 3. Mechanically, this is a, is a really interesting take on Portal. Um, Portal Reloaded, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check our audio. Look at all this. How has mental health treated you? I've actually been feeling pretty good. Uh, without really talking about it, let's just get right into it. Portal Reloaded. New game. I haven't touched it, so let's see what this is about. Hello, Yo. test subject. Four, five, zero, nine. I just realized something real quick, though. My, uh... Hold up. No, 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 no. Volume mixer. All right, sorry about that. Oh. Okay. You have been in stasis for 16 days and four decades. Okay. 16 days, four decades. 40 years and six and two weeks and two days. Welcome to the Aperture Science Long-Term Human Storage Vault. Game is very loud. Okie dokie. You have been selected to take part in a very oh, wow. special test. It's still really loud. Does this not do anything? In course. Hello, hello, hello. Is that better? Federal regulations require us to inform you that the testing ahead may result in slight cases of sore throat or blurry vision. Is this Harry UK 101 doing the voice? Let's do a little bit more, but then I'll turn it up on my end. Or death. If you experience any of the aforementioned side effects, please do not hesitate to write them down in your test report. I remember in the gameplay footage that the Portal J, the, the creator of the game sent me, it was this guy, because he's German. He was the one doing the voice of the, the test subject guy. <laughs> so that's cool. This vacuum tube will take you to your testing area. You will be further instructed there. Good luck. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Wee! Happy 10 years, Portal 2. Happy 10 years, Portal 2. Portal 2 turned 10 yesterday, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, I started Valve News Network is uh, because of Portal 2. I, I but I started Valve News Network in July. The lead up to Portal 2 is what made me get the idea of Valve News Network, though, because I was doing all the research myself, just for the fun of it. Wee! Woohoo! Waha! Woo! This isn't really a 10th anniversary celebration live stream, so I won't really get into it, but yeah. The potato sack ARG and the, the original, like, dinosaur ARG stuff. All that, like, the fun of researching and, and collecting notes and, and all that. That's what started Valve News Network. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. These automated messages will guide you through your test today. Cool. The door in front of you is programmed to open in approximately... 20 years. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. This test can be solved in two different ways. Option one. Wait patiently. Option two, time travel to the future. The choice is yours. Okay. However, if you prefer time travel, the Enrichment Center will provide you the means to pursue that option. 
All right. The time portal will open and testing will begin in three, two, one. How much you want to bet that if you wait 20 years at this game screen, the, the door doesn't actually open? Wouldn't it be cool, though, if the creator was like, yeah, we'll put Sensors a timer. that you have not yet stepped oh. through the time portal. Secrets. Secrets. I waited and there was extra line dialogue. You have still not traveled for time. Please enter the time portal. No. You have shown to me that there are secrets. I am not going to go. To help you decide, the Enrichment Center is going to provide you with two new options. <laughs> Option one, step through the time portal. Option two, die, die from, from thirst. thirst. <laughs> the choice is yours. It was worth waiting. It was worth waiting. Oh, come on, come on. Give me one more. Kill me. Kill me off. Like, do something crazy. That might actually be it. That was a good joke, though. That was a really good joke. All right. Welcome to the future. Yay! Time traveling through portals will be an essential part of this testing course. Okay. In order to help you distinguish between the present and the future, this part of the enrichment center has been left untouched for the last 20 years. You may see some signs of decay. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. The Enrichment Center is designed to withstand centuries without proper maintenance. It's crazy how all Find this shit... Way to exit the chamber. Okay. So, plot hole. Just real quick. This is really, really destroyed. Uh, but apparently this is only after 20 years. Whereas in Portal 1, it was hundreds of years. It's a bit too much damage after 20 years, don't you think? That shadow looks like a lambda. How much you want to bet that that's not... That was an accident. It does look like a lambda, though. Welcome back to the present. If you are ever unsure which timeline you're in, simply observe your environment. The present should always look a bit cleaner than the future. Racist. <laughs> this Aperture Science Test Subject Teleportation Device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next chamber. This process is absolutely safe. Usually. All right, I'm okay. Okay. I'm going to turn off subtitles because they are ruining some of the jokes. I'm sorry if you need subtitles, but I mean, I can read the jokes beforehand. You know what I mean? This ain't GLaDOS, this is Dados. Got him. Let's go! These next chambers will involve cube and button-based testing. Hell yeah. The perks of time travel. Oh yeah. Let's do it. A cube placed in the present will appear in the same position in the future. Man, how did they do that though? Ah, oh, that's so fucking cool how it works like Moving that. Moving a cube, nice try. But bringing a present cube to the future violates the laws of causality and is therefore impossible. Bringing a present cube to the future... You did it again. To clarify, you cannot take a cube from the present with you to the future. Why not? It just won't be in the future. I mean, I get it that you need that for a gameplay mechanic, but as far as logic is concerned... Does it violate the laws of causality? If you can take yourself to the future, why can't you take the cube? Exactly. Look, it just means that... For the last time, 
This is physically impossible. No, it is Please, though. Stop trying. Fuck you. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, fine. Look, I don't care if that's what the mechanics need to be for the puzzles to make sense. Fine. But, like, it just means that it won't be in the future already. You can't bring something to the future that doesn't exist in the future. No, but... Y mm. Whatever. This future version of the cube can be moved freely without good. Please continue to the next chamber. These material emancipation grills will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through them, including cubes. See, I'm there's so many like extra voice lines that I'm looking I'm looking for them now. Oh, but now it's oh, it's still back here. Oh. And now it resets. Right? Yeah. Wow. Can you take it back to the past? Yeah, you can. But if I move it, it resets. Oh, wow. That's fucking nuts. What if I then do that? Will it will it You can't you can't infinitely generate cubes, ladies and gentlemen. Wouldn't that be nuts? That doesn't work like that. You have a limit. So the the actual laws that like seem to make sense don't this, this, this subscribes to, like, a very closed time loop theory. Understanding the concept of cause and effect will be vital to solving the upcoming tests. Simply put, everything you do in the present has an impact on the future, but not the other way around. Oh, if, okay. If you take a cube from the future, it follows a new world line that continues from the past. I love time travel stuff. I think about time travel stuff all the time. Oh, but wait. If I... Oh, uh, if I move this, it'll disappear. Yeah. I have to put it on the button first. Then I go in. I take it from this button. Man, I really like this mechanic. Good thinking. While it is impossible to bring a present cube to the future, this clever trick allows you to have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. This will prove to be very useful in future chambers. I like this. Bringing a cube from the future to the past and leaving it there would require bringing it to the future, which would require taking a cube from the future to bring it to the past, etc., etc. Oh, I love that. I love thinking about this. This is just advisor pod training. I get it! I already get it! I already get it! Okay, hold up. Hold up. I have to get this. Alright, let's go and let's see what the pet we're dealing with in the past. If I push the button, I need to move past cube? up while I'm sitting here, which will cause this cube in the future to move, getting me up there. I get it. I know how I need to do it, but I don't know exactly how. 
Oh, wait. It might actually be simpler than that. Yeah. Fizzling the cube. Oh, but wait. And then I do that. Yeah! I love this! I really, really love this! Always remember, if you change the destiny of an object in the present, the future version of that object will be affected as well. If this sounds too complicated, you're in luck. The next chamber will only heavily rely on your understanding of this very basic concept. Oh, good. Good. Oh, right. 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 I'm gonna turn it all the way up. This- this music's really good. <sighs> so you put it there. You get this one. You put that there, go into the future. Then without touching it... Oh! Oh, yeah, okay. Then you go into the future, and you push the button. Oh, but it destroys it. Hmm. Oh, but it's still in the past! What? What? Oh. confused I get it fuck off swap them around okay so we have the two cubes I can put this one here but if I touch this that disappears oh wait a minute yeah, okay, I get it. Sorry, I get it. Whoa. Yo, Astro Donnie with the Twitch Prime. 11 months on Twitch Prime. Thanks, bro. So if I put this here, I can get up the stairs and then I'll touch that there, destroying that. Yeah, okay. Yoink. These are some good-ass yeah. puzzles. By now, you hopefully understand the concept of cause and effect yeah. and how cubes behave in different timelines. Now, let's move on to something more interesting. This is cool. Now, for the moment you've been waiting for, Aperture Science proudly presents the Triple Portal Device. This marvelous device will allow you to place three different portals. For now, however, to introduce you to the concept of portals in different timelines, the time portals will be placed for you. Oh, okay. I like the light that they're giving off. Look at that, it's lighting the environment. Man, this is really well made. A 
portal placed in the present will appear on the same surface in the future. <laughs> well. well. Hello, Tyler. It is me, toothbrushing guy again. Once nice. as a kid, I was watching Bear and the Big Blue House while eating a peanut butter sandwich. I was unhappy with my sandwich being untoasted, so I then put it in the VHS player, and it broke. Wait, wait. Aren't you the same kid that pissed in a laptop disc tray? Some people. What's going on there? No, this is this is this is this this is a lot to take in. <laughs> All right, I might be too dumb for this. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Okay, so I have control of two portals, and the time portal is set for me. This is like a riff on Portal One, Chamber Three where you're just trying to mine the gap, right? Okay. So, I obviously need to make it to the time portal. So this is the first move. No, it's not. This is, because I still have access to the orange portal, right? If I do this, I can still go through that orange portal. So what I want to do, orange blue, and then through here, orange, I'm past the first gate, and because I'm in the future... A portal placed in the future will not override its existing location yeah, in the present. Okay. Good. Thinking in four dimensions means not only knowing where to place your portals, but also when. Come on, you telling me there's a rat man den in this game? Don't show me a secret little side area if there's no rat man den. Eventually you can place green portals yourself, yeah. Jesus. Please, ignore that. The decay of this facility over the Just past 20 years may have caused the destruction of some portal surfaces. Just Try ignore to find it. A way around this. Just ignore it. Under the piston was a hole. Well, I'm not going to be able to go back. Time portal only. Okay, well, this button controls the time portal. Wait, but doesn't that mean there isn't a time portal in the path? Oh, but there is. Oh, okay, whatever. I don't understand why you need to have two versions of the same button, but what else? Oh, you can only have one time portal at a time. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh. Go to the past. Oh, good grief. Okay. Oh, good grief, man. Um, portals placed in the future don't affect portals placed in the past. Portals placed in the past 
affect portals placed in the future. Okay. So, in the future, my past portals still matter. I'm gonna fizzle, just so I can... Okay. So, if I place a portal... I'm in the past, and there is an orange portal in the past. That means, in the future, that orange portal is still there. Because there's just an unconnected orange portal in the future, an unconnected blue portal also in the future will connect. Okay. So now I have a connected set of orange and blue portals. If I do another orange portal, okay. If I do a different blue portal, okay. But then if I go back to the past and I place another blue portal. Oh, okay, it does affect it, okay. Okay, so... What I could do... What if I just... Do that... And this. Oh, but there isn't a place to portal over there. I need the time portal on that side. Okay. Okay, yeah. So... Orange... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now, time portal... Over here... Oh, there's a bit up there! Okay, so I'm still in the past. If I like that, and then go to the future, I can... Oh, but wait. If I orange... Yeah. Okay. Let's try that again. Man, I wish I could just... I wish there was a fizzle button. Is there a retry test chamber button? No. <sighs> okay. Future portal. There's a portalable surface up here. Past portals affect the future. Future portals don't affect the past. You're gonna get weenie whack! Yo! Welcome back from your break, Tyler. Always fun hanging out in your streams. Thanks! Is there an update on the Valve Soup situation? No. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I have a feeling that I need to have a, a full set of portals in the past. Right? Those are now connected. But... So portals affect each other? Okay. The portals themselves are, are affected regardless. Okay. I fucked it up. I, I, what I What happened here is I fucked it up. So we're gonna go blue, orange, orange, time, blue, wait. Make a link between the two outer platforms in the present. OK, 
Okay, but now what? Like, how do you get over here? Oh. Nicely done. Okay. Take note. Because time portals exist in exactly the same location in both timelines, they can only be placed on surfaces which are intact in both the present and the future. This next chamber will involve the concept of momentum-based traveling through portals. You go in fast, you come out fast. Simple enough. Touching the material emancipation grills will cause any ordinary portal to fizzle. Time portals are not affected. If a portal closes in the present, it will also close in the future. So think about where and when to pass through them. Whoa, what the hell happened there? happening with the momentum there hello I got to play test this mod I hope you enjoy it thank you so we got to get a handle on this puzzle see the only purpose I could foresee the past and present needing do the fizzlers change? Hmm. But you would hope... Like, you could have... that. If only Portal 2 got a Source 2 port valve and use Megan, not that it'll ever happen. hard second in pass first fling in the future okay I guess that makes sense oh wait it does make sense Wait, but they... 
past, future. But they're still here in the... Oh, but they're still here in the past, yeah. What? Why is it doing that? Uh, okay. If I change blue... <clears throat> Is there a time point? No. Change blue, go to the future, fling again, go to the past, there you go. Outstanding. Now that you know all the essentials, how about shooting some time portals of your own? Yeah! Let's do it! Do it. Wait, you guys like chocolate? What are you, five? Ahead of you is the Aperture Science Time Portal Activation Force Field. This field will activate and deactivate your ability to shoot time portals. It will not fizzle your portals or destroy cubes. Great. The following chamber will combine all the elements you have learned so far. Good luck solving your first test while shooting three different portals. I don't like middle mouse for that. That's better. <laughs> I just had an idea. Remember that you can only place time portals on surfaces which are in the same condition in both timelines. Oh. That's fucking nuts that you can control that, but whatever. So what happens if I do this? <laughs> that... Uh, that's fucking nuts. That's fucking nuts, man. Well done. Traveling through a time portal will also transfer your current momentum into the other timeline. This is awesome. This is so good.
Why does it keep doing that? Stop it. That's annoying. Why is it making it flip like that? Oh, the observation glass is broken behind me, yeah. I think I get it. This this cube is going to fall for for years. Yep. nuts actually hmm. I, I don't know what to do <laughs> with this information but It's falling. You see, I think the goal here is to place a portal and then be there in order to catch it, right? But how do I do that? Man, I haven't been this puzzled by a portal game in ages, and it's great. Is this on Steam? Yeah. <sighs> okay, so what if I place a time portal here? Hmm. Oh. In the future, if I do this... 
and then go up here, and then time portal down. <gasps> that was it! That was it! That was totally the solution! Fuck. Okay. I have to jump, though. So that I can get up here. Yeah! I'll place the time portal over there so it doesn't get in the way. Blue. Gotcha. Yeah! Yeah! Fuck yeah. And then... Yes! Oh. Fuck. No. It's not over yet. Fuck! Wait a minute! <laughs> I need that cube to disappear. Ah! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, let's try that again. And let's think about this. So, in order for it to disappear, it needs to move in the past. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! I just ruined it. I had it and I ruined it. I just needed to long jump back into the future and it wouldn't have been there. Damn it! All right, reset, reset. All right. Yo! Sub with Prime people. How many months is that for you, bruh? Eight months! Rye Mac me Thank you. Alright, so then wait. Why what? Oh, it just broke. I get up here. Motherfucker. This is hard. Just air strafe.
<laughs> I... <laughs> My brain... Future cube on present button. Future cube on present button. Future cube on present button! <laughs> Future cube on present button. Future cube on present button. Future cube, future cube on present button. Guys, future cube. All right. So what you're telling me to do here... How do you get the future cube on the present button? You would do that by just letting it sit. Mm. Right? It would have to be somewhere where you can easily control it. Right? So if I put it, like, here. Let's say here. Or I could place a portal under it to move it. Right? And then... Go... Get it in the future. Oh. Nope. Oh my god. I want to see Chet Falasek stream this. And then, and then I take, oh, okay. And then I take it back. Okay, that's probably it. Right, and then I do the same bullshit. Right, where... And then... Do that. And then... That. Yep. Nicely done. Now, let's move on to some more advanced challenges. That is a good puzzle. That's a very good puzzle. That was such a good puzzle. These are such well-designed puzzles. Holy shit. Like, I fucking love these puzzles. If you are ever unsure where you placed your portals or where you left a cube in the other timeline, feel free to use the puzzle element indicator switch on your portal device. This will display holographic projections of your portals and cubes in the other timeline. 
Neat! What? Oh, wow, I have to hit those three buttons in really quick succession. Okay. My favorite part of a portal puzzle is taking in all the pieces. You know? Like, okay, you really just have to take a minute and ex and explore everything, you know? This is a fairly simple room. It looks purple through the orange portal. Oh, it's, is it because I'm looking at my own portal? That is neat, man. Look at that. That's the hologram of my future portals. That's really neat. Okay, so... I need to hit number one first, and number one's over there. Whoa. Yo! Hello, funny guy. You're funny. Thank you. Did you know how funny you are? I mean, you are humongously funny. You amuse me a lot. You're very much funny, fun man. Thank you. Thanks. 18 months. Thank you for the uh, Twitch Prime. Remember, if you have Twitch Prime, give me it. Too slow. All right, so this is a speed puzzle then. Mm. Past is traversal, present is action. So you start in number one, right? So what we're gonna we're gonna have to set it up prior. So I can go back and forth here. We obviously need to start in the past. Oh, you know what? No, I don't. Because I can place a, a blue here, go across in the future, place an orange here, and they're connected now. But then in the future, I can just boink. Yeah. I like that puzzle a lot. That was a cool puzzle. Quickly make your way over these turret redemption platforms. Unfortunately, they did not survive their trip to the future. Come to think of it, it's actually quite remarkable that you are still alive. It was a triumph. If at any point you are concerned about your odds of survival, don't be. Remember, the test subject teleportation devices at the start of each test section, should you die at any point during this test, we can simply rearrange the atoms you are made of and oh. put them back together. Good I, as new. I thought I found a secret. It, was, it, it wasn't a secret. Quickly make your way over these turret redemption platforms. Unfortunately, they did not survive their trip to the future. Come to think of it, it's actually quite remarkable that you are still alive. If at any point you are concerned about your odds of survival, don't be. Remember the test subject teleportation devices at the start of each test section. Should you die at any point during this test, we can simply rearrange the atoms you are made of and put them back together. Good as new. So crazy that it works like that. I love that. All right. 
Let's see if my idea is gonna work. The original thought was put future cube there and then do it again, but it would disappear, so it wouldn't work. Um, yeah, I gotta use present cube here. How to. Oh! Fucking duh. It's actually pretty simple how you do it. Just boop, boop. So it's there. Boop. 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 Now what do I do? <laughs> now what do I do? <laughs> okay. So present cube is there. And I gotta get future cube over there. Present cube just has to stay there. Like, I can bring this to the present easily. Right? And that's still there. That's still there. But now my question is... You need to stand on the future button to launch the future cube there. I need to stand on the future button. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. gives me like no time. See, the future portals need to be there and then quickly placed. That doesn't work. Have you played this before? No. Hmm. 
Okay, okay, let me just think about this for a second. I have present button on the thing, which locks it in both, well, it could lock it in both dimensions. Let me set it so that it is. Wait, can you go to the future and use a time portal to pogo the cube in one location? only place time portals on surfaces which are in the same condition in both timelines. You're warmer! Okay. infinite clones of you because of the stupid rules of quantum mechanics only once you die can we take your atoms and recreate your body for continued perpetual testing This game, man. This game! This game is so fucking good! Holy shit! Oh god, we're introducing lasers? Oh no. These lasers should provide a fun change of pace. 
Please be aware that some test elements may only be functional in one timeline. Yeah. We're doing lasers now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God. What? What the fuck? What? Oh. Duh. Wow, this game is really, really good. Uh... Great. By now, wow. you might be wondering how it is possible to hear these automated messages, regardless of which timeline you're in. I have thought of that. We implanted a small device directly into your brain. <gasps> Valve! Way, you can hear these messages as if they were the voice of your own conscience. Well, they practically are. Considering how much of your cerebral cortex we had to remove to make this work. Oh, duh. Oh, really? Okay. Wow, this is so fucking fun. Like, it's it's such a dumb moment if you've been paying attention. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So now what I'm gonna... Do is bring pass is future cube to the past, making sure not to touch anything. Okay, so obvious. I mean, maybe not. Maybe we want to go diagonally. Maybe that's the better option here. But if we don't, and we do something like like this. And then this. Yeah, but you still gotta do that. Um, I mean, the future isn't gonna be affected by this. Yeah. Hmm.
See, I feel like the future version of this is a mislead because you can only have one of these redirection cubes in the future. You can have two in the past. I think I do need to go diagonally. It's, it's doing, oh, oh, that's right, yeah. Great reminder that I need to do that, though, you know? And then we do that, and this, uh, and then, oh, man. Close, but no. Huh. Man, it's hard. Let's start over. Let's think about this for a minute. So, the time portal has to be here, right? Because this is only activated in the future. And so the only way to get this into the past is if I place a time portal there. Right? Drink water. I mean, what I could do is redirect it a bit more, like, but where would it be helpful to do that? So that I can change where the time portal is coming from? But it also limits... No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. It just changes where the future portal, the time portal, comes from. So where would it be helpful for the first laser to come out of? Right here, right? Something like that. How would you do the? Oh, like uh, that. Yeah. Yeah. And then this. And then I go back, grab the future one. And then hopefully be able to complete the circuit somehow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should be able to. Ah, fuck. Why did I do that? A little janky, but it works. Things Ooh. are about to get a little more complicated in the next chamber. Great! But don't lose hope. Think about this. As long as you don't see your own corpse lying in the future, it is safe to assume that you solved the chamber sometime during the last 20 years. That's true. 
That is actually true. <laughs> See, I want to get up there. So these two control this, and I need to get up there to get a cube, so... Hmm. Or it decayed to the point where birds carried away the bone fragments. You're right. doesn't work. Just got here. How are you liking it? It's fucking fantastic. It's so good. This is one of the best Portal 2 mods, if not the best Portal 2 mod I've ever played. It's, it's... I don't need flashy fucking cutscenes and shit. It's Portal. Do you know what I mean? I just need puzzles and, and dark humor. And that's what this is. This is like Portal 1-2, then Portal 2-2. Two, two. And that's what I said in my original video, and it's living up to that expectation. It's great. This is so fucking great. I've played Mel, I've played Aperture Tag, I've played Thinking with Time Machine. They're big, grandiose, Portal 2-esque experiences. Portal 1's my favorite. Self-contained. Small. Small scope. Focus on the puzzles and the humor. That's what this is. My brain hurts a bit. I need to reset here. I need to... I need to think about this for a second. So I need to get up there. This is a multi-step puzzle. The first step of this puzzle is to get the cube. Once the cube has been obtained, this side of the puzzle is not as important as this side of the puzzle. But both sides of the puzzle rely on this gate because it's the source of the power. Right? Now, I need the ability to place portals here. So if I were to play, like, do that, that would help, but then I can't leave, right? So, I could do that, right? Because, is it activated in the past? It is, so, uh, 
that means it could ostensibly give me two lasers, right? If it, like if I played my cards right properly, I could have two lasers. But how do I achieve that? You know, like I could split this off in the future, go back to the past, and it would still just be one straight line. You know, then I go back here. It well, it would require the time. It would require the time portal, right? Yeah. So, what if? What if I do blue, orange, green? And then, yeah, there's still a laser over there. Yeah. Ha. Huh. See, I actually think the correct answer then would be this. It comes out this end, right? Ow. See, I would want pre-placed portals. Oh, I get it. I think I get it. Okay, hold up. Time portal, blue portal. Keep that blue portal in the past, right? And then... Time portal... Orange portal will go up there in the past. Oh, I should place it now. I should place it now. Orange. Yeah. So then it's there and I don't fuck with it. But then I do that. Right? Blue. Oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, but the defi the definitive factor is the time portal. So all I need to do, time portal. Ah! <laughs> yes! That's how it's done, man. That's how it's done. So this will still be there, right? Yeah. My question is, how the fuck do I get up there? Can I companion cube it? No, I can't. Hmm. Okay. Regardless, I'm gonna go here and do that and it does nothing okay so I have the two cubes now then I can just erase it and start over yeah I have two cubes now so And even if I fuck up, I could just go back and get it. I have the cube. That's what's important. So... I'm sorry I'm not talking too much. I'm thinking a lot.
Wait a minute. Yeah, but how do I get up there, though? I actually think I understand it right now, but I'm gonna have- yeah, I'm gonna have to fuck with it for a minute. So if I... put... Oh, I can't do that, right. Okay. So then, I need to figure out where I want to put this. It'll be like that, right? Like that. And then go here. Yep. Okay. Okay, but now I'm up here. <sighs> I feel like that's not that's that's not the solution yet. Cuz I need to be able to solve it. I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing- I'm doing it very wrong. I need to use the two laser thing. That needs to stay there because- okay, hold up. So... What we need to do is split this laser off into two directions, right? Like, have two different lasers going at once. This one, in the, in the present, it's like this, but then one in the past, or, wait, no. Wait, oh, time portal. And I can do this, and, Time port. No, that doesn't work. That doesn't fucking work. Hmm. You can trigger both those buttons with the same laser. Then I have a feeling I should use portals somewhere. be this, can it? Oh my god. solved it. Congratulations. Thank you. Hmm. 
is such a fun game, guys. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I really like this. We tried many times to open a passage to the future, but this connection exactly oh, no. 20 years from now is the only one stable enough to last longer than a few microseconds. Oh boy. Now we got faith plates. You see, as the game gets further along, each chamber is going to take me longer. Oh, this chamber is going to be wild. <laughs> Some residual faith play <laughs> came out of time. Well, I could just. Oh. What exactly is my goal here? Am I just trying to get up there? Is that it? Am I just trying to get up there? I think I almost had it! Damn it! Damn it, I really think I almost had it. Oof. No. No. We do have this. I overcomplicate things so fucking much, man. <laughs> yeah. God. The second half of this testing course is located below you. Unfortunately, no elevator can take you there. So you will have to take the stairs. That works too. There are no stairs, boy. Valve, publish this. Polish it up and publish this. Oh my god. You might have noticed that something is not quite right here. Remember when we told you that the decay of the facility was completely intentional? Turns out, that was a lie. Okay. There is a bigger picture here. Your test might be the most important one ever conducted. <gasps> For now, let's just try to get back on track and keep going. Oh, but I have a time... Oh, wait, but I can't place my time portal out here.
Oh, but I don't have access to my time portal! That's such a good idea. Man, this is so fucking good. I have played so many portal mods and portal maps since like 2008. I I think this is my favorite. Uh, that's that's an ugly player model, but this is one of my favorites, man. But I, I think I do have to call it here for now. Let's save the game. I, I like I gotta end my streams at about two hours, and we'll continue this another time because I know that. Like, I know I'm at, like, the last few chambers, but those chambers are gonna get longer and longer and longer. How many chambers did we get? How many chambers we get through? Quite a few. Man, this game is so good! Like, it's so good, I might actually do a review for it. Played for 105 minutes. I legit might do a review for this. It's, it's, it's... Yeah, it's just... Damn. So fucking good! So good! Oh my god, that was so good! And I'm not even done with it. We might end up streaming it later tonight because I might not be able to resist playing it. But I do need to... I'm back to work today and I need to edit the next Hugo Martin interview part. Because uh, Josh has been bugging me for it. Wow. Yeah, that's it. It makes me so happy to see cool shit like that. Why do you prefer the original se the original Portal to a sequel? Um, because Portal 2 kind of lost its focus on the mechanics and the atmosphere in exchange for big story set pieces, like a Half-Life game. Uh, there were great puzzles, they were great mechanics, but they weren't the main focus. The characters were, the relationships, the story. And there's obviously room for that. There's, there's, you know, it, it, it is a matter of opinion, but I like the self-contained lower scope, smaller scope Portal 1 to the much larger, bombastic, grandiose Portal 2. Do you think it's the best Portal fan game? It's way too early to tell, but it's definitely the one that I've had the most fun with this quickly. Like, the only other ones that I can think of that made me this happy were... And they're, we're getting really far back with, like, Martin, Skinny Cap, Johnson, and Reap Blue. Like, Blue Portals was really good. Uh, Aperture Deja Vu was fantastic. I was never a fan of Portal Prelude. Um... Portal Stories Mel does the same thing that Portal 2 does, and it's just not really my cup of tea. Uh, I liked Aperture Tag quite a bit. Uh, we should replay that. Reloaded does not have a co-op mode, no. Um, but up until this point, I think my favorite Portal mod would have been Aperture Deja Vu. And that came out like 10, 12 years ago, so. And Blue Portals. Reap Blue's cool. Yeah, wow. Go check it out. It's on Steam right now. It's a free download. I don't even... Do you need to even own Portal? Portal 2 to play it? 
Let me check. Is it a mod or is it just a game? Oh, it's, yeah, okay. You do need to own Portal 2. Um, but I'm sure most of you have Portal 2. Um, it's, it's fucking fantastic. It's... Oof. I'm glad I made a video on it. Some people were like, you're just overhyping it. Nah. Nah, I knew that I'd like it the first time I saw it, and it lived up to my expectations. Holy shit, this is great. I don't need massive atmospheric, like, atmosphere, like, huge world environmental shit. I don't need any of that. I just want a focus on the darker tone, which this has, even though it's using Portal 2's art assets. Just make jokes about how, how you don't like me, and give me some fucking really razor-sharp puzzles. And that's what this is. This is, this is, oh man. Hell yeah. It's Portal 1-2, not Portal 2-2. Two, two. And I love it so far. Holy shit. And I haven't even played the ending. So. Damn. That's awesome. That's awesome. Fucking awesome. Anyways, uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching. This has been uh, Tyler McVicker. Uh just playing some some video games this morning uh the game is called portal reloaded you can find it on steam it's a download free download fucking great really really great so uh it would be cool if it got workshop support but that would also require a complete rebuild of the puzzle editor but hey i mean if enough people find this mechanic interesting Maybe they can do something with the editor. I am friends with the creator of the, the mod on Steam. Um, I'm probably going to do some kind of video on this. This is this is too good to not let people know, hey, this is fucking fantastic. Um, how long is the mod? Well, I'd say I'm about 75% through and it took me two hours. Um, but then again, it's Portal, so the bulk of the length is going to be the last four or five chambers like you know portal one you can beat up everything up until chamber 13 in like 20 minutes if you, you know it's four and a half five hours is what i've been hearing it's 25 chambers and an ending so yeah uh hugo martin letting off steam with the creator I don't think he would do that because I remember him telling me that he wouldn't be down for a voice interview because he's not happy with his English. That might have been somebody else. I talk to a lot of, of um, you know, non-native English speaker creators all the time, and I do want to be able to respect their stuff. This was made by one guy. Yeah, this was just one guy. Um, really, really cool. How does it compare to Portal Stories Mel? It's a completely different experience. Portal Stories Mel is like, let's make Portal 2 again. Um, can you tell I, I completely cleaned up my room? I, I really worked hard on that. I set up the, uh, the new SteamVR trackers. I have four SteamVR trackers in my room. And... I went to my P.O. box today. Went to check my P.O. box today. Which one of you did this? This was an anonymous person that sent me these. Whoever sent me these, thank you. Um, so, uh, I tested these four trackers with my index and my knuckles and holy shit. Dude, I didn't lose tracking once. In case you weren't here for yesterday's stream, Ado, a uh, viewer, sent me four SteamVR trackers, 2.0. Yeah, they're slightly used, but they work. Um, set them up in my room, and it's fucking phenomenal. Uh, also, like I've said this before, uh, but I'll say it again. Um, the Tyler McVicker Amazon store is being developed right now. 
uh, it's going to be a used game store where uh, I just kind of make some extra money for video projects. Electra runs it. Um, and I've been testing all the games that I want to sell. I have about 2,500 games total that I'm selling, uh, a whole bunch of consoles, a whole bunch of, like, books and uh, guidebooks and art books and, and records and... Um, and uh, I bought a CD buffer cleaner thing um, because some of the games I tested weren't working, uh, but I want to see if maybe I can clean it up and get some of those working. Uh, part of I'll char I'm charging retail value for the games, a little bit under retail value, uh, because I need to make some extra cash for some of the major projects. Right now, I'm aiming to be able to buy um, a nice, like, legitimate professional video camera, and that's going to be like $1,000. Um, however, part of the Amazon store um, is a rebirth of one of my favorite pastimes growing up, which was thrifting, going to thrift stores and stuff, which I haven't really been able to do lately because of, of work. I was thinking of doing like an LGR thrifts kind of thing where I just kind of record myself thrifting, show off my finds, and then the difference between like me and LGR thrifts would be, and also we're selling some of the cool shit that I found. We're gonna be selling like 95% of the stuff that I find. If I find something really, really cool that like I would want, you know, like big box PC game or, uh, you know, like a PS3 or a PS2 game that I actually want, um, then I'll keep it. But, you know, anything else that's like, I'm selling literally every Nintendo cartridge and the NES, N64, SNES, Famicom, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. I'm selling all of it because first of all, fuck, I'm so fucking sick of Nintendo. Fuck Nintendo. Um, yeah, but I used to go to Goodwill all the time and I haven't been able to do that at all and I miss it so it would be fun to be able to just like kind of make a, a thrifting series for the second channel you know and uh, show off some of the stuff that I find and uh, then sell it be like hey you can go get it you can buy it on Amazon uh, so that's something I'm working on oh. I haven't used this uh, repair system yet uh, but it has really good reviews on Amazon so um I think that's about it. Today I'm getting the, the, the next Hugo Martin part done. The majority of the work for the last Hugo Martin part was I had to get 4K footage of Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. Now that I have all of that, I think I can just kind of fit all the pieces together quite easily. Um, and this next one is going to be Hugo comparing and contrasting the development and the choices made uh, between Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. Uh, I also have um, a couple other cool videos lined up. I'm working on a top 10 incompetent moments of Valve video. Uh, I'm working on a um, Nintendo video called Nintendo Doesn't Deserve Your Money. Um, I'm working on... Well, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I have two episodes of the TF2 Cut content series pretty much done. I have the first episode of the F-Stop documentary completely written. All the assets have been gathered. Um, and that's about it. I'm trying to take it one thing at a time. And so today my goal is the Hugo part. We're going to get that done. So um, thank you, everybody, for supporting me. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This has been Tyler McVicker signing off. Adios.